While the genogram offers clear symbols for identifying males and females, there are other possibilities for making certain groups stand out visually. To make a change in the visual presentation of a specific group, click on the Table Layout button. This brings up a table of all individuals in the genogram. To select a group, such as the deceased individuals, click on the top of the column identifying this group. This will sort them accordingly. Then, select the individuals belonging to the deceased individuals group and click on the Properties button or press on Enter. This will bring you to the Properties window of that selection. Then, go to the Gender Fill and select Black. Click on OK and close the table layout to see them in the genogram. You can see that all four individuals selected are now represented by a black symbol. To undo this action, click on the Undo button on the toolbar. Now click on the table layout again to sort by gender, thus grouping all males, females, and pets. By holding down the Shift key, you can select multiple individuals. Again, click on the Properties button and change the color of the gender symbol fill. Once you have colored all the females, use the Hide Selected Rows button to refine the display by showing only the individuals who have not yet been colored or to perform more complex searches in the remaining individuals. Next, you can color the remaining individuals of the trees, such as the males in blue and pets in yellow. There are many other applications where coloring can be useful, such as visually displaying genetic diseases, culture, ethnicity, religion, and more. Indeed, assigning colors to various groups can help organize your genogram in an interesting way.